British photographer Terry O'Neill is known for his iconic imagery. His work has become a visual shorthand for the swinging 60s and over his long and wide-ranging career he photographed people across the spectrum of fame, from musicians and actors in Hollywood all the way to British royalty and politicians. After growing up in the East End of London, Terry's initial ambition was to become a jazz drummer. This fell through but he ended up gaining a position as a photographer at Heathrow. It was here he captured his first image that launched his photography career, where he snapped a photograph of an immaculately dressed man asleep on a bench at the airport. It was then Home Secretary Rab Butler and he managed to sell the image to a newspaper and they hired him basically on the spot. One of his first assignments was to capture a new band on the scene, The Beatles. His image of them on the paper sold out the paper and an iconic photography career was born. Lots of images that we think of of famous people were shot by Terry, so much so that the National Portrait Gallery in London has 80 works by him in their permanent collection. And all interviews with people that worked with him talk about his kindness, his relaxed energy and his generosity of spirit that obviously made people feel so, so relaxed and allowed him to catch them off duty as we can see with something like Faye Dunaway by The Pool the morning after she wins her Oscar or even Audrey Hepburn napping between takes on the set of one of her films. Even by the 1990s, Terry remained very relevant. He looked to reinvigorate his career at this point and photographed some of the kind of key faces of the day as he'd done previously. We can see that in this early portrait of Kate Moss from circa 1993, right as she's beginning to become established on the international scene and her sort of new look that comes away from that late 80s high glamour. Um, her waifish grunge look that would define a generation is captured here by Terry.